Greetings tubers, bookers, spacers, and tweeters out there. This is Chuck coming at you with another edition of Shower Curtain Movie Review, where I review uh, a new movie that came out in theaters this week, and I see how it stacks up on the shower curtain rod here, and I rate it using the shower curtain rings. One ring meaning it was terrible, and five rings meaning it was completely amazing. This uh, weekend, Jamie and I found some time to go out and see the uh, remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street, so I'm going to talk about that and review it. Um, so yeah, A Nightmare on Elm Street remake, I was a little leery uh, going into the theater and seeing this. I was, I, I can't say I was looking forward to seeing this movie, but I was anxious because Freddy Krueger is, I mean, he's a horror icon. Freddy Krueger, Jason, Michael Myers, all these guys are like... Uh, you know the Frankenstein and the you know, the Dracula and the the Wolfman of, of our generation. You know, um, and I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of these films uh, with these characters in them to come. Um, but yeah, uh, I was leery because they didn't get Robert England to play Freddy Krueger, and I know it's a remake, but Robert England is Freddy Krueger. I mean, he made that role. Uh, you know, I remember going into a video video stores when I was a kid and seeing, you know, uh, you know, a cardboard cutout of Freddy Krueger standing there, you know, and it would scare the daylights out of me. Uh, so yeah, I was a little leery because, I mean, you know, I, I was kind of shocked that they got uh, Jackie Earl Haley to play Freddy Krueger, who's a great actor by the way. By the way. Um, and he's sort of become a favorite of mine. Uh, he played Rorschach and Watchmen. Uh, he's on the new TV show Human Target that Jamie and I watch, and um, and so they got him to play Freddy Krueger, and I was kind of like, well, I don't know about this. So anyway, uh, went to the movie, and I'm going to talk about it. Uh, the story of the movie is, you know, it's if you've seen the Freddy Krueger films, you know what it's about. Freddy Krueger, a uh, group of kids that live on Elm Street are terrorized by Freddy Krueger and their nightmares. They keep having nightmares, and if Freddy kills you in your nightmare, you're dead for real. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Um, so I'm going to talk about that. Uh, the acting in this, I'm going to talk about Jackie Earl Haley later, because as far as acting goes, he was he was my favorite. So anyway, the acting in this was okay. Um, a few of the actors, the supporting actors that were in this, uh, uh, Thomas Decker played uh, John Connor on the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Uh, uh, he was in this. Uh, Kyle Gallner, who uh, was in uh, Haunting in Connecticut, and he also played The Flash on Smallville. He was in this and, and a few others. Um, but the acting was okay as far as a horror movie goes. I mean, you're not going to get you know Academy Award winning stuff. But it, it was good. It was okay. Um, visual effects, cinematography were awesome. Now, there's sort of a pros and cons thing to this here. Um, uh, a lot of the, uh, the the movie contains uh, a lot of, of of scenes from the very first Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, we see Nancy lying in the bathtub and the glove coming up from the you know in the bathtub and uh, uh, what else? Um, yeah, but a lot of those those scenes are are in this, and it's like they've taken those old scenes. And we're seeing them again, but with the updated uh, visual effects. And the visual effects were great. I mean, they they were really awesome. But the thing, but the, here's the bad part of it is that I can understand in a remake, um, you know, paying homage to the original. But it just got kind of repetitive. It was like, okay, you know, I knew what was going to happen next. It was like, okay, I've seen the glove come up in the bathtub with Nancy before. I've seen the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I've seen. Uh, I've seen the girl, you know, in the bloody body bag get drugged down the hall, you know, by invisible Freddy Krueger. I've, I've seen that, you know, and and so, and in essence, we were seeing these these classic scenes redone with today's modern day effects, which was cool, but it kind of made the film a little predictable. Uh, you know, it was, the, the film was just a little too much the same thing, you know, like I knew what was going to happen, I was like, okay, I know... You know, and that's the thing with these horror remakes is a lot of them, you know, Halloween, Rob Zombie with Halloween, uh, the new Friday the 13th, these were remakes, but they weren't the exact same film. They were completely different. You know, if you'd seen the original one, the remake, as far as Friday the 13th and Halloween goes, you hadn't seen, this was something new. So there was something new in those remakes. And in this one, I just didn't feel like there was enough 
that was that was new as far as uh, story wise and stuff goes. Um, they did uh, put their own sort of spin on the origin of Freddy Krueger, which I thought that I thought was really interesting. I will say that, but but that was it. I mean, you know, and and the rest of the movie, you know, if you've seen the original Nightmare on Elm Street movies, it was just kind of, you know, like okay, I know what's going to happen next. Okay, you know, I just wish there was a little bit more that was different. Um, so yeah. Uh, but the visual effects were awesome. Cinematography was awesome. Um, uh, there were a lot of scares. I mean, there were a lot of times like, Ugh! you know, and, and it was just, you know, it was creepy. And, uh, you know, so it did its, it, the film did its job on that part. Um, but as far as the supporting character, I know I talked about the supporting actors and their acting, but the supporting characters, uh, you know, there wasn't much I know you don't you can't expect as far as the characters in a horror film. You know, a lot of times you don't expect much depth, but a lot of these characters, supporting characters, were were just paper thin, and and I don't know. And so anyway, that being said, um, I wish we got to see more of Jackie Earl Haley in this. Um, and I'll get to that in a minute. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because there was something else I want to talk about. Oh, and also the story kind of. You know, as it went along, it was repetitive. It was like, you know, they would reveal something about Freddy Krueger and something about the story, and then they would stay on that topic, and it was like, okay, I know. Let's let's move on. Uh, so anyway, but Jackie Earl Haley is Freddy Krueger. Jackie Earl Haley was, was awesome in this. And like I said, I really wish we could have seen more of him in this film because I just felt like there just wasn't enough of him in this because his Freddy Krueger was great. I mean, he sort of, you know, he put his own kind of spin on it, and, uh, you know, he was really sinister and just really creepy, and, you know, he kind of talked like this a little bit, <laughs> and it was just, I don't know, I can't do it, but, uh, yeah, he was really good, and I think, you know, I think, because Robert England, he can't play Freddy Krueger forever, and I think if we're going to, you know, hand this role down to another actor to continue to do more films... I think Jackie Earl Haley's the right guy. I think he did a great job uh, uh, portraying Freddy Krueger, and I think you know, and I hope there is a sequel uh, to this film because I would really like to see this character portrayed by him more. I'd like to see, you know, maybe in the sequel, you know, we don't have to have a complete remake of Part Two. You know, let's let's have a sequel that's different with a different story. Uh, the sequels in the original s series each had a different uh, story. And revealed a little bit more about Freddy. So let's have more of that. Let's have a complete something we've never seen before in a sequel. And let's have more Jackie Earl Haley in the sequel. That would be my suggestion to the filmmakers. But yeah, Jackie Earl Haley was awesome in this movie. So uh, go see this in the movie theaters. Um, I would say if you haven't, if you've never seen any, if you've never ever seen a Freddy Krueger film and you're a young uh, horror fan, yeah, go see this. It'll be cool. But if you've seen A Nightmare on Elm Street, I would say wait for this to come out in uh, the rental store and pick it up. So let's see how it stacks up on the shower curtain ring, shall we? Okay, now, I give The Nightmare on Elm Street remake not one, not two, but three out of five shower curtain rings. Yes, three shower curtain rings. The Nightmare on Elm Street remake. So, anyway, this has been another edition of Shower Curtain Movie Review. Hope everybody's doing great. I've got some more video posts that'll be coming up later. I know I've been talking about Our Town, which was a show that I was in this weekend. I got some behind the scenes footage, uh, some, well, some behind the scenes backstage footage for you guys uh, coming up later. And so, yeah. I uh, hope everybody's doing well, and we'll talk to you later. See you in the next post. Bye.